good afternoon, good evening, welcome back to Amazing ATS. How are you guys doing today? Yeah, it's been a minute since I streamed. Uh, real life is a drag, that's all I'm going to say about that. And some people already here in the chat, Paul, David, Jim, Cole, Jaitlin. What's going on today, guys? Great to see you, and we are in... John Ruta's 389 glider trailer today is also from John Ruta. This is the Wilson Pace Setter. And if you saw the image there on the stream before we started, we are running the Cummins N14 Select Plus. This is going to be an 800 horsepower Pittsburgh tuned N14. So it is going to get up and go, hopefully. We are also going to be doing some farm work today. Hence the Wilson Pace Setter. And right now we are sitting up in Haver, Montana. First run today is going to be a load of sugar beets. 45,500 pounds worth of sugar beets going down to General Mills in Bozeman. So without any further waiting, we're going to climb into the truck. We're going to get the good old girl fired up and let's do some trucking. Hey, Bob, how's it going today? Please proceed to the highlighted route. And the sounds today are going to be courtesy of a Z mod, of course. So we, since we're running John Ruta, we do have the Peterbilt interior sound effects also on top of the N14. In 650 feet, turn left. Turn left. Doing pretty good today, Bob. Now, one thing I did with the lighting on today's truck no LED lights on this at all since John Ruta did update his light pack. So we are using your regular, not even sure if it would be incandescent, but that's one way to describe them. No, the last vlog about Oklahoma was on the truck stops. Nothing else has come out about it. Hey, James, what's going on today? Oh, I've also got a little bit of news for you guys. I have not looked up on this, but apparently Kenworth is making a limited edition W900 for the 100th anniversary year of the company. I believe that if you do want to look that up, I believe it's on CDL Life. So I believe it's uh, www.cdllife.com. Hey, Martin, what's going on today?
Hey, Omar, how's it going today? Good evening. Yeah, I'll get the link, James, and I'll put it in there. If that's if I don't forget. Oh crap, we got a chicken. Oh, thank goodness, we got a green light on the chicken coop. Woop woop. Turn left. Use the left lane ahead. Now one, and hopefully I don't crash when I do this, but if you take a look at the license plates, both on the truck and on the trailer. Since I live in Iowa, we had to put Iowa plates on because this latest John Ruta update did give you all 50 states. What do you mean, Omar? Every single transmission in the game is going to have an engine brake on there. I American trucks really do not run retarders, so any transmission that I choose is a non-retarder transmission. And then I just assign the, the engine brake toggle to my button box, so the engine brake is either on or off. That's good to hear, James. It really is. Hey, DeAndre, it is going great, driver. How about for you today? All right, Coda, uh, stop going over that white line there. Keep it between the lines. You 
know how to do this. What game are you talking about, Martin? The Super Bowl? Really, bus? You just had to do that, didn't you? I don't think we came close to him. Well, probably a little closer than I liked. But, uh, yeah, as you can see there, we do have Iowa plates. And then we also have another one on the back, but that one's a little bit hard to see. There's the one for the trailer. Yeah, KC won. I really did not watch the game. I'm not a big football person. What I ended up doing was uh, screwing around on YouTube for most of the evening. Uh, we'll cancel that lane change. Do that lane change.
so anybody who has purchased Zmod sounds, have you gotten the DD1516 sound pack? If you did, how do you like it? I watched the YouTube video on it, but I'm not sure if the uh, sounds are something that I'm looking for. I mean, this N14 sounds awesome. The Signature 600 and the EGR Cummins that I have, they all sound good. But the DD131516 sounds just a little weak to me. But, of course, those engines are quite new and whatnot. Shane, thank you so much for that subscribe. I do appreciate it. I should have put Frosty ATS in. I mean, we're up in Montana. It snowed here, well, most of the day. Uh, they were calling for up to 10 inches. We got like three. <laughs> I'm not going to complain about that. I'd rather not deal with 10 inches of snow. Oh, 
Oh, it's together, Bob. My brother actually is here uh, today. He's got to leave out uh, 5 o'clock in the morning, and then he'll be back sometime tomorrow. We do have to make some adjustments, but it is 100% together, finally. I just loved how those instructions said, put together in 45 minutes. Yeah, right. Yeah, it was awful, Bob. And we have no plans of moving, so we don't have to tear it apart and put it back together. Thank the Lord. I should totally do that, Bob. Or make him pay me an hourly wage. Yes, James. Uh, most of his engines that, well, I'm going to say all of them, really, that you get from his website are paid. There are some free ones on the workshop, but they are not updated. If you are going to look into buying any Z-Mod engines, I would wait for a sale to when they go 50% off. That way you get them for 3 bucks instead of 6 
lane ahead. Really, four-wheeler? You had to do that, didn't you? You almost ran me off the road. Because, oh, there's a cop. I'm going to slam on my brakes. Apparently, I did find out uh, just from reading the forums of why I'm not going to say SES sounds are terrible, but I understand now why they sound the way they do. Their sound engineer has a background in music. So music and engine sounds really do not, do not mix. So he mixes them to what sounds good in his ear not to the way the truck actually sounds. So this is why there's such a stark difference between, say, Z mods and what we get from SES. I was ready for that one. Welcome to Bozeman.
turn right. My chat didn't break, did it? Ten four, Bob. And, uh, yep, chat did not break. You guys are just being quiet. arrived at your destination. All right, where do they want this? Oh, lovely. That one is not going to be too bad, but again, one of my dislikes is why are we putting a grain hopper into a dock? It does not make sense. This is what I really want SCS to fix. This should be unloaded with, where we should be unloading this is there's an underground silo and we dump right into the silo instead of going into a dock, which makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. And I am not going to be pulling out of General Mills, so let's see, what do we got here in Bozeman and where can we go? Alright, let's take a big long trip along the interstate. Should we do another load of Sugar Beet? Yeah, we'll run over to Sydney. So let's run out to ADM and get that unless there's something else going to Sydney. There isn't. Okay, Sydney it is. Hey, Randy, what's going on today? Please proceed to the highlighted route.
have arrived at your destination. Please proceed to the highlighted route. Uh, Coda, why'd you pull your parking brakes on? You're an idiot that you forgot that you took them off. In 650 feet, turn left. Turn left. Yeah, but definitely with this 800 horsepower Pittsburgh tuned N14, we should not have any issues. So far, we haven't. But, uh, yeah, if, in case you don't know, Pittsburgh Power, of course, located in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, is one of the best engine shops in order to get diesel engines tuned. Appreciate it, David. missing gears too that's what I just did back there
Barbecue Kingdom, huh? I don't think you're gonna come anywhere close to KC Barbecue. Welcome, Randy. Welcome back. Now, one thing that you guys will notice, if you've been watching me for a while, you probably already know this, but I do a lot of skip shifting on the lower side of the transmission. So I don't go one, two, three, four. I normally go one, three, four, or one, three, six. It all depends on the horsepower of the engine that I am running. But normally, even with the heaviest loads, I have no issues with skip shifting. Other people think you would have to hit every single gear. You don't. As long as you get your RPMs matching to what speed that you're going, you will be fine. Rumble strips work.
I knew that was going to happen. Somehow I think we are in for a gorgeous sunset. That's if I don't make Sydney before we unload. Junior, how's it going today?
Chops loose on scale eating donuts. One we don't have to pull into. Now this night sky add-on that we're running with weather 2.5 this really makes Montana look like big sky country. And just look at all the stars out. Sure hope you guys are enjoying the AMSR stream because there's not a whole lot of talking today. How are you doing today, Anthony? Welcome. Turn left.
I have absolutely no idea, Bob. Roundabout, take the second exit. Navigation resume. How are you doing today, Dub? Ah, oh, that was a little hairy going through there. Hey, Nissan, what's going on today? Welcome. And then continue straight.
straight. Keep to the right, and then turn right. Turn right. Oh yeah, that's pretty much what exactly what I'm doing too. It's gonna be cold tonight, so uh, I have no plans of going outside. And uh, well, yeah, do some trucking, maybe do some racing. I don't know. Well, I'm already doing the trucking. I just may continue to play after I'm done with the stream. Adam, how's it going today? Welcome to the stream. Great to see you. You have arrived at your destination. All right, where do they want this? Okie dokie. That's something that we can do. I still would love to see the hopper trailers unloaded right over there. I'm actually going to cam over there. And they mark that as a hidden road, but we have no option to unload here. It just does not make any sense whatsoever. And because there's kind of sort of your underground silo, they, sh they should let us use it. Now, granted, I will use the excuse that I am using a modded Wilson Pace Setter from John Ruta. So that's maybe why some of these locations that we're backing into do not make sense. But for the base game itself, we should never put a tanker into a dock. We should never put a grain hauler into the dock. It, I mean, that is idiotic in my opinion.
All right, let's see. What do we got here in Sydney? We have to go north. So, uh, yeah. Oh, might help if you click uh, Sydney there, Coda. That takes us back down the exact same way. We've already been to Bozeman. Uh, is there anything? Is there any Kelly spell? Oh, I may go ahead and jump to another part of the map here. Uh, so... Eh, nah, that's not gonna work. Idaho should be good. Sandpoint to the Dales? I mean, we could do that with a load of sillage. But we've been to the Dales, though, too. Idaho Falls, nothing. Pocatello, there we go. Uh... Okay, a little short. We got anything going southern Utah? Nope, we don't. 65,000 pounds worth of potatoes? Are you kidding me? Eh, salmon, animal food, nope. That's a little short, but uh... Let's see, let's haul a load of pumpkins, but uh, let's see what else there is besides just in Idaho. We're, we'll jump map. That doesn't make sense there either. Uh, Glen Dive to Bozeman? Nope, that's the way we just went. Okay, I guess we can take a run up 25 and maybe find something going to like Cody. So we'll pick up pumpkins going from UPS to Burlington Northern Santa Fe. Okay, I'll do it. Please proceed to the highlighted route. Hey, Mick, how's it going today? Navigation resumed. Don't you just love cheating and jumping to wherever you want to go? Please proceed to the highlighted route.
Turn right. And it's going to get even better, Adam, once they get the game engine update out. And it should help performance quite a bit from what I am hearing and what they've mentioned so far. And they've gotten console dev kits. Now, if you don't expect the, the game to console anytime soon, but the dev kits for consoles actually help them for PC-wise more than likely in getting multi-core CPU uh, support into the game, which is desperately needed. Hey, Tyler, what's going on today? a half tank of go go juice that should be enough to get us up to Gillette left and I'm hoping they'll actually get their doghouse lights working they had mentioned something about those with the California phase 2 update and they pulled them from the game for some reason so I mean if they can get doghouse lights working and get give us flashing yellow so we don't have to wait through a cycle of light just in order to turn left, especially with no traffic coming, I am all for that. And I'm just thinking the game engine update is going to open more doors than what people realize. Yeah, features and stuff will need to be coded. That will take time. But it's not going to be no more catering to those on obsolete and outdated hardware. Thank the Lord. Everything is going to be fixed. I don't care if they keep SMAA. What they need to get rid of is the quote unquote level of detail circle that they have. Give it full screen AA and not this utter LOD circle that we have now. And once if they do that, I am fine with SMAA. If they give us TAA or TXAA, hell, I'm good with that too. I'm a former driver, Adam, so and I still got the itch to be on the road, and this suffices it for now. Oh, here's the thing, Bob. It's not going to be like the update from DX9 to DX11. 
all hardware basically made within the last five, six, seven years is already capable of DX12. Oh, I hear you, Adam. This 37, well, 379, <clears throat> more like the Glider 389 that I'm running from John Ruta, which is today's truck. It is absolutely so fantastic. Amazing. Tyler, I normally shift around 15 to 1700. You can shift before that if you want to do low RPM. You could do 1400. If you run automatic, don't worry about it. Let the truck do it. The ECM will take care of it all for you. ECM, aka engine control module. And that's another thing that needs fix, Anthony, is the AI in the game. And you saw that car there. If I didn't move over, he would have ran right into us. It's like we're completely and utterly invisible. I think it's going to start raining or we're just getting some morning fog here I think is what we're we're getting cuz uh this does not look pretty Oh but that sky though that color wow Navigation resume. Navigation resume. I just had to get a photo of that. That is utterly awesome. With Special Transport, Adam, uh, don't do the load that goes to Fresno. It is currently bugged. Uh, I'm not sure when they're going to fix it, but it is known.
Good one, Bob. Use the left lane ahead. I'm waiting actually for more loads for special transport and hauling the same the new routes in that are great don't get me wrong but hauling the same loads over and over and over again do get a little boring what I wishes would have been a wind turbine blade I mean why not And we've already got the tower and the nacelle. Why not give us the blade? All depends on your hardware. If you want to run automatics, and you can run a Eaton 13, 10, 18, or whatnot, because every single transmission in the game is an automated manual. But uh, if you're if you're running Western Star or a Freightliner, the DT-12 transmissions are quite good. But uh, seeing that I have an 18-speed shift knob, um, I normally stick to an 18-speed Eaton Fuller. That's one thing they should get rid of out of all the transmissions with the exception of the Allisons is retarders. They are used on Allison transmissions, but those transmissions that we have from Allison, you mostly find those in a bus, not in a over-the-road Class 8 tractor trailer. But they should get rid of all the retarders from the Eaton Fuller transmissions, definitely. I do know the when they first came out with the 49X, they had the transmissions in there and none of them have a retarder on them. The European players of this game threw a beep storm, and I do mean a huge one. SES caved and put retarders in the transmissions. Appreciate it. Uh, the engine sounds today are from Z Mod. Uh, literally the best sound modern 
uh, that we that the game has both ETS and ATS right behind them is going to be Creech Bomb Z mods I think for free Creech Bomb definitely for paid you want to go with Z mod and apparently Z mod he is from Australia but he is also a sound engineer in real so he has experience working with sounds and you can definitely tell the difference between what Creech Bomb does and what Zmod does. The engine today is a Cummins N14 Select Turn Plus. Left. It's just a stock one that comes with this mod, Adam. The mod itself, I believe, is uh, I think 25 bucks from John Ruta, but uh, since he is located in Russia, you kind of can't use PayPal. Your bank will probably automatically decline a credit card, so you may have to use like Google Pay. Well, consoles still have their place, Adam. Not everything can be played on PC. Some games are just easier on console. I mean, that's just a hard fact. I mean, but me, I don't have any eye-hand coordination, so you'll never see me playing on a console. Probably the best free truck and this is my own personal opinion is on the steam workshop It is from mr. Overfloater the k100 Absolutely fantastic job that was done on that truck Mods come in, come, yep, yeah, come in to N14.
I just glanced at the website, Randy. Uh, I believe you had missed this. What I said earlier is Kenworth is 100, 100 year anniversary this year. And they are doing a limited edition W900 uh, to, commem to commemorate the 100 years. I believe the info of the truck is at cdllife.com. I ain't got no red light. I ain't going to the port of entry. No way. I'm not going to offer up myself for a ground pressure check. Well, Nissan, I, that's more of a niche product in my opinion. Just build yourself a regular PC, get the hardware that you want, and just download Steam. To me, that's just easier than paying a inflated price just because it contains the name Steam. Yeah, more than likely, Adam.
too many red lights. Keep to the right, and then turn right. Turn right. In 650 feet, turn left. if you want Tyler but the newer engines of today they're more geared well they're more made to run at lower rpms than higher You have arrived at your destination. Alright, I am going to do one more run here. It's not going to be overly long, so I'm just going to hop to the map here and see what we're going to do. Uh, maybe we'll jump down to Texas here. Uh, no, Dullheart. Uh, da -da -da -da. Odessa, Tucan Carry, 340, Lubbock. Alright, we'll do, we'll do that one here. We'll take a load of grain from Lubbock to Albuquerque. And we'll end on that one. Please proceed to the highlighted route. Uh, where is this at in Lubbock? I just want to take a look here. Da, 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 da. Oh, way north, northwest. Okay. Navigation resumed.
Please proceed to the highlighted route. Alright, so we have enough fuel to get to Albuquerque. We've got 561 miles and we're only going 280, so we are good. So what you're saying, Bob, is that you grind it until you find it.
I believe uh, that is a F100 aardvark. I mean, it's not modeled very good, but that's definitely what it looks like to me. Oh yeah, the cockpit gives it away. say F100. That was a Super Saber. F111. Thank you, Bob. gotta be really super uh oh what's the word i'm looking for not crazy gotta be super cautious uh if you do have train horns on your truck you don't want to scare a four-wheeler and literally if if they are expecting it that's one thing but to if they're next to you and you their kids doing this doing the arm thing for the horn and the parents don't see it, yeah, that could turn disastrous. So, I mean, when I was driving, I normally, on the highway, I was fine. I normally had no issues on the highway because parents, you know, they, they want their kids to be interactive with trucks and whatnot. But in a city or especially a school bus, uh-uh. I would never blow the horn when the kids were doing the doing the motion. The nope. Right. Can't do it. Turn right. Turn right. something better than that to do the echo check. Now, that backhoe on the trailer in front of us, they actually have that wrong. The backhoe itself should not be up in the air like that. It should be down on the deck and then chained down. Okay. 
Hey Bon, how's it going today? Welcome. Oh, definitely Nissan. I am running a mod that adds that, uh, which is the Daniel's Random Event mod. So, uh, the this right here. Oh, it, what wasn't it? I think these ones here. It, you, every now and then you'll see my truck moving around. That is the Daniel's Random Event that's causing it. Uh, favorite pizza? Probably pepperoni if I just had to choose one. Now, if we're talking about like a wood or a, a wood-fired oven, definitely give me margarita. I'll eat those all day long. Like this right here, we're gonna, we, yeah, you see the truck rock there? I mean, that's part of the Daniel's random event. Am I in the wrong lane? I might be. Yep, 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 I am.
if it's been updated, I need to grab the update, but I can get it quite easily. And did we want to do uh, Canada on Saturday? cars really I didn't feel like stopping but guess what we may have hit one and sideswiped it no fine because we're awesome You said you know some tricks, Bob, in order to stay in Canada? to the right, and then turn right.
650 feet, turn left. Turn left. Turn right. You have arrived at your destination. All right, where do they want the wagon? Okay, I can do that. It's going into a dock, but we can do it. And that is the end of the stream for today. I do want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down because all feedback is important. If you liked what you saw and you're already not subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. If you do, enable notifications by clicking on the bell afterwards. Hope you have a great rest of your Thursday nights as always. Keep that shiny side up and we'll catch you on the flip-flop.